Welcome back everybody, some more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. Gonna play Canaloa Beach, Inward 9, Championship Tees Teeny Cups. It's the last of the um, nine holes I've not set a score for. So we use the big clubs because I want to get a decent score on the board. But I do want to play it with normal clubs at some point as well. Bit of wind. Master Hall. Got a bit of spin on it. Oh, I'm just gonna end up in that bunker. Wind pushed it further than I thought it would, but he got a chip though. Teeny cups though, so this is gonna be um tough. Not just on distance but on line. Needs to hit the pin really to have a chance. Still we get the birdie. An eagle would have been nice, or at least an eagle pup. So one under, obviously, not set a score on this. So we are on the separate team ground for this, which puts that little creak in play. Could play over here. Great shot. Just try and get it in play on a bit of fairway. I'm gonna kick on me. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Ah, I just got on the first cup. So out the rough, sadly. Two sixty-five left. We can have a crack at the well. We'll end up short, won't we? I'm not gonna play the wood. I'll try the three iron. Again, super difficult out the rough, caught a bit of the tree. Am I going to be in the rough again? Yeah, oh, we had a bit of vegetation as well. So, as ever with this game, one mistake leads to another. All sorts of foliage, we're on the green though. Go for the so we get ourselves a birdie putt in spite of that nonsense. Can we hold it for a much undeserved birdie? Yep. <laughs> so birdie birdie start. Frankly lucky. Uh, 12's the par 3. Again, championship doesn't add much. This just makes it a little bit longer. So the clubs don't really help you here. Didn't get the backspin I wanted. Looks like it's on. Oh, it's not bad. 12 foot. Teeny cups though. 12 foot still a... Still an interesting pup. Got it. So three birdies out of the box. R13, oh, my friend. Now, off championship is this uh, is just about drivable. We've absolutely got to get hold of it, though. And we got the backspin. So probably got enough elevation on it. Yeah, look at that. That's how you do that one. Just cut the front edge. I mean, in theory, you could albatross that. Sloping downhill. In theory. But I'll take the eagle. It's a five under. We've had a little bit of luck. Fourteen. Again, doesn't really help you here, the custom club, because you've still got to kind of play up here somewhere. Just trying to find a bit of fairway, so I've got a good second shot. That should just hold up, it's alright. It's so 205 left. And about a million miles downhill. Just comes down like an absolute stone. Got a big bounce on, which we sort of catered for. Yeah, that's alright. 
So we've got oh, a nine footer funny. for the birdie. Right edge firm, I think. Yeah, yeah straight down the middle. Six on. Par three. Hole 15 is a par three. Again, you end up in a little separate teeing ground, makes it 230. So it's a longish iron. Again, my foot could go power shot five here. That might be the better shot. Rather than playing the three. Nice shot. In theory, should hold better. So if the danger of the three will skip throughout the back. That's all right. Seven foot. This is probably left edge. Yeah. It's a seven under. Sixteen. My favourite little shortcut. So again, we're going to try and play. Oh, we can actually get at the green here nearly. The, the ploy is. If you leave it on the car park, you'll get a drop because it's man made. Ah, oh, it's just got stuck there. Will I get some relief from that? That's out of bounds. Yeah, that's the risk. There is an out of bounds there. Yeah, look, just around the edge of that. If I'd have ended up just here, I'd have been fine. But there you go. It's the price you pay for taking the risk. Rather than getting a nice drop, I get out of bounds. However, we've got a chip. Again, control's difficult out the rough. Caught a bit of tree. I just have to take the bogey. Just need to not hit that thing out of bounds. So back to six. So 17. It's a par five. Our favourite par five. Zero chance of the condor at this length. You know, you couldn't hit it down that street if you tried. Uh, real question is, where do you want this to end up? I'm not even sure I want to play the power shot, really. I may as well just play up here. There's no point. The second shot's going to be an absolute beast anyway. You may as well do it off the short stuff. It's out of the rough. So I'll sacrifice a bit of length. Just make sure we end up on the fairway. Which we've done. It's so 52. So it is a three iron. Didn't get the spin I wanted on it. There's a nice bit of fair way to land it on. Oh my days. That would have been some albatross. From that range. And she goes. So eight under. So we get a shot at nine under. And again, this is a different hole. Again, you're on a separate teeing ground. In fact, you're the complete opposite side of the hole from the shorter ones. I don't somebody really help me because the pin's on this side. So your choices are choke it up to about here or try and stick it. Do you know what? I might be sensible. I know this is a revolutionary concept for this channel. Uh, yeah, good shot. Need the wind to push that over a touch. No, it's going to dip in the sand wow. anyway. Oh, even worse in the water. Careful of the ride. Hello. This is always fun. Almost no control over the power. Great shot. And it's out the back, yeah. However, got a chip. Basically need to hit the pimp. Which we did, and we got it. Nice. 
So that gets us nine under. Obviously there's more to come there. And the custom clubs do help you out a bit on some of those holes. Yeah, look at that. We missed half the, over half the fairways. We missed a load of greens. So it's a it's a score. It's, it's not not the best score. I got my level 15 back. That's nice. Well, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. Leave me a comment. And I'll see you next time for a bit more everybody's golf.